Bakugo. Haven't drawn Bakugo in a while. This is the key image they released for season six of him. It looks pretty cool, so I thought I'd give it a go. Landscape page. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So he's kind of looking down at his hand, okay? So his head's quite small. Go up here, top half of my page. Center point about here. We're going to come up over to the right and start with the right eye. So we go diagonal and then across. Okay, and then we go back down. Kind of spiky in the corner. And then across the bottom of the eye. Back into there. It has an extra line just around his eye there. <coughs> Excuse me. So he's looking down, right? So his iris drawn like this. And then the pupil just there. <coughs> Excuse me cough right so then the other eye same sort of thing up oh, over and then it spikes down to here and then we'll bring it around and back up to that point and then a little extra sort of line there and it's iris half circle look it down at his hand Nose simply drawn like that, and his mouth pretty simple as well, just a flat sort of line coming across, like so. Chin, then pointy chin, just there, and then the jaw goes up the side, changes direction. Up the side of his head. Same on the other side. Up. Change direction. Up the side of the head. Okay, and roughly proportion wise, eyes to the bottom of the nose, say top of his eye, is about the same as bottom of the nose to the chin. And then bottom of the nose to the mouth, about the same as mouth to the chin. So that's the proportions we're sort of dealing with here. Do -do -do. Right, so then his mask on his face, right, so it like spikes onto his fake face, fake face here on both sides, and then it curves underneath his eye, and then over his nose, back down to the eye again. Okay, <clears throat> he's kind of smiling, I think, on this side. Let me raise this up a little bit. Okay. And then it's fringe, so he's got like hair spikes coming all across his face, right? These short blonde spikes that he has. Okay, and then his ears, so just sort of, it kind of, your ear, top of your ears, when, when a character's looking forward, the top of the ears line up where his eyebrows would be, and we can't see his eyebrows, but we can sort of imagine, so here, and then the bottom of the ear lines up with the nostrils, the bottom of the nose, right, same thing on this side. Okay. And then just some lines on the inside. They don't do too much ear lines in My Hero Academia. Just a little bit. Like so. Right, and then some more. We just keep going with the hair spikes now. So he's got some more here. And then they all go around his head. 
Okay, so starting from the ear, go. Little hair spikes that gradually sort of get bigger. Going out this way. And it just goes all the way around his head, basically. And back of those sort of hairstyle, he has this double sort of spike thing going on. Right, a small spike and then a large spike. Small, large. And sometimes one's on their own. Like so, we keep just going all the way around down to the other ear. Right, and there might be some texture lines just inside the head as well. Make some just here, maybe. Extra little spikes like so. And he does have like his mask that he wears. There's like some bits that stick out the side here. Underneath his hair. And so these would be black. And a little bit over here as well. Okay, so his neck, down this way, long, sort of thin neck, neck muscles, just here, the Adam's apple, and then his collarbones, and then those grey things he has on his shoulder, curve around there. They're square on the end, and then this curves up and goes behind his neck, say here, down like that. And there's a line on the edge, like so. And then we have holes in this, so like three circles on each one. And to make them look a little bit three-dimensional, you just add an edge to it and color it in black on the inside where it's dark. Sort of same thing over this side. Right, so Oh yeah, he has like another thing up here, like another black spiking thing. It's kind of like his hair, but part of his costume, I think. Goes right off my page, I'd say. Yeah, that way, and then back in here, and you might see a little bit of it going that way right and this has a black inside sort of like edge lines
Okay, now, so he's kind of looking at his hand, but we can see some of his body sort of here first, right? So we see his chest sort of sticking out here. Right, and then the side of his body comes down there. Center line for his chest to be sort of there. Then you can see his shoulder. And then bicep coming down here, shoulder muscle. Rest of the arm like so. See muscle for his bicep and then his costume comes across the arm there. And he's got an orange line on it. So he's got this X marks the spot sort of thing on his chest. That way. And then going down to his stomach. There. And sort of the hand is here, right? So we can't see the this part of the X. We just see a little bit. Black circle there. And then maybe like some ab lines. Roughly there. Okay, so now this hand, right? So we've got like this big circle first, right? So just place that first. So it goes. Now we might have to erase some of this because the fingers come over it as well. Okay. So the hand comes out of this. He's kind of like looking at his hand like this, right? So we've got like the top of his finger bumping there. One, two, right? So these like bump down. Around the bottom, right? So then one, two, three, four. These are the bottoms of his glove. Just sort of bump up this way, right? So many. One, two, three, four sections. So one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, and around. Right? So four bumps. <clears throat> on the glove so these kind of shapes right so they go sort of around here we've got an orange edge and then one two three four on this one kind of like caterpillars <laughs> And if you go over any of these, you can just erase these lines. And then there like that. And then the thumb. So so it sticks out here. Okay, and then we have more sections around, so more metal. Right, so another line, an edge line just coming around here. sticks out here and then so this has a line going down that way and then we have a green part sticking out here and then another metal part there and then more metal here and then a green there and then some more metal Right, and then we can just see like his shoulder sticking out from here. And then his chest. There's like some hatching sort of on his shoulder there. Like so. I'll just color in around this glove black because it'll make things a bit easier to see. 
Right, so I just erased some of those lines and he's got like an orange section on the thumb as well. Okay, back ago from season six of My Hero Academia. I hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.